everyone, welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bear's Let's Play. I'm Chris and Little Bumble Bear and I'm back with more Sesame Street. This is Sesame Street's Grover's Travels. I hope you enjoy. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you do. Leave a comment down below sharing your memories of Sesame Street. And subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. Check out the playlist in the description box to see all the other Sesame Street games on my channel because I have a lot of them. I do have a Twitter and Instagram you're welcome to follow and a streaming channel. All the links are down below. And if you use Discord, please let me know because I'd love to invite you to my server. Now, okay, without further ado, let's begin do. Grover's Travels. Enjoy. Now, choose what kind of games you want to play. Click here, here for easier games. Click here for harder games. That's the title of the story, Grover's Travel. Oh, and that Grover! Hello, Grover! Grover and his mommy lived in a cottage by the sea. Grover loved to travel in his little boat. He always left right after breakfast. How do you feel today, son? Let me see. Um, I do not know. I am not certain. Are you still going on your travels today? Oh, yes, Mommy. Well, maybe you will learn something about feelings while you are out. Pay special attention to the way people feel. Enjoy yourself, Grover. The feelings that I feel, I do not feel them. I do not feel the feelings that I feel. I sometimes feel that feelings are not real. But then, just how should feeling feelings really feel? I am on my way, and I will sing my song. La 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 la
about feelings today. I hope you are right, Mommy. <laughs> Goodbye. Grover had not gone far when he came across three very silly sailors. All of their stuff had fallen into a giant clam, and they needed help to get it back. All of your stuff is in that clam? Oh, what can I do to be of service? <sighs> I'm hungry. I'm really hungry. And, and, and I want my food back. Bark! Polly wants to play an instrument. Bark! Oh, and I want my clothes back so I can get dressed. Click on the clam and something will come out for these sailors. Jeez! Which sailor wants that? Nom, 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 nom. Thank you. That was delicious. Yeah, thanks. Oh, you are so helpful. Now, Click on the clam again, and something else will come out for one of these sailors. A bow tie! Hmm, which sailor wants that? The right tie makes the whole outfit, don't you think? You have helped two sailors. Only one more to go. Give that clam one more click and see what comes out. A guitar! Who do you think needs that? Bert, Polly Van Halen on guitar! Bert, Bert, beware, Grover the Traveler! You're sailing into strange seas. You'll love it! No! Bert, boy! Thanks, Grover. Strange seas ahead? Ooh, well, I, Grover the Traveler, am ready! Hey! The traveler is one I love to be. I will go and meet people different from me. Oh my, what is that coming my way? <laughs> Grover landed on a funny little island. It had trees and houses and even a train, but everything was teeny tiny. In this place, Grover was a giant. Oh, this island is so cute. Everything here is teeny tiny. Let us capture this scary giant and tie him to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> 
can only fear what we do not know. <laughs> I wonder who lives in there. I have never seen such skinny tiny houses. This is the cutest place I have ever seen. I would like to live here, only I do not think I would fit in. Hi <laughs> up the giant! Tie up the giant! Everybody! Tie up the giant! Tie up the giant! Hello there. The Twiddlepucians were afraid of Grover and tied him to the ground. Only one little girl was brave enough to help our furry blue friend. I do not believe this. The little Twiddlepucians have tied me to the ground. Now I am the one who is afraid. Oh, giant, blue giant, I will help you. Uh, how can I help you, giant blue giant? Count the numbers in the right order, and you will untie me. I know how to count to one. One! I do not know what number is next. Yes, yes, it is working. Count to the next number. <laughs> one? Oh no, that is not the next number. Think hard and click on the next number. I know you can do it. Please keep counting in order to untie me. <gasps> oh, that is correct. And you are untying me. Now, what number comes next? Three! Four! Yes, yes, it is working. Count to the next number. Five! I am almost free. You must keep counting. Eight. Nine. Oh, thank you, little girl. You are a true friend to help me. I am happy to be free. Please come with me, Mr. Blue Giant. Our governor is very sad for tying you up. Now that he knows you are a friend. Yes. Let us go and cheer up your governor. Poor governor. First he had been so afraid, and now he was so sad. Grover and the Twiddlepucians did everything they could to cheer him up. I was afraid of the blue giant, so I decided that he had to be captured. Then I found out he was our friend, and I became sad for capturing him. We must cheer up our governor. I feel so sad that I did not make friends with this giant right away. I love snow. J'aime la neige. Ich liebe den Schnee. Ja, liebe Jude Nieg. Me encanta la nieve. I must admit, these hijinks are cheering me up. Everybody, move! <laughs>
enjoy physical humor. I feel quite happy. I got it! Good shot! Not bad! Game, set, and match! Nothing like a little exercise to lighten the spirits, I always say. Bring my bottle! <laughs> Certainly was an adorable child. <laughs> well, well, well. I feel happier already. These tributions, they are certainly entertaining. Do you not think so? Why did the girl throw the butter up the window? She wanted to see a butterfly. <laughs> oh, dear Twiddlepucians and friendly giants, you have brought me happiness! Oh, I am so glad! Now, could you please tell me how to get to a place where big people live? I can tell you how not to get there, because you must sail across the Sea of Opposites. Just follow my directions backwards, and you will arrive at Big Island. Bye bye Goodbye! Backwards was everything. Grover paddled through the Sea of Opposites, doing the opposite of everything the governor told him to do. Now, the Twiddlepucians told me that to get to where I am going, I must find the opposite of... Clean! Clean! Oh, yes, I, Grover, love to be clean. Can you pick the one that is completely different than clean? Dirty! Yes! Dirty is the opposite of clean. According to my directions, that is the way I should go. My next instruction is to find the opposite of dry. Oh boy, dry. Yes, I sure do like dry. Now, which one is not the same as dry? Wet, correct. Wet is the opposite of dry. Aha, I will go that way. Finally, I must find the opposite of cold. Oh, c -c -c cold! I, Grover, know all about c -c 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 cold. Now, can you find something very different than cold? Hot! Right! Hot is the opposite of cold. If my directions are correct, that is the way to go. <gasps> Look, there it is. The big island I have been looking for. A traveler is what I love to be. I will go and meet people different. Now, if you click the arrow, we can continue the story. We have done it! There is the big island! Uh-oh. What is that? Oh, not again! Then, Grover landed on a really big island. In this place, he was very small. Tiny, minuscule, little, itsy bitsy, miniature, petite, minute, wee, shrimpy. Okay, okay! I think we get it. I, Grover the Traveler, am very small in comparison to things on this very big island. Hey there, little guy. Did, did you hear something? 
Over. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to crush your boat. Oh, I feel so sad. Sad? Is that how you feel? Well, that is not how Grover feels. I feel angry. Oh my, what have I done? I feel so sad that I crushed your boat. <laughs> Terrific. Just wonderful. Now I am stuck here on this giant island forever. I really did like that boat, you know? My boat! My beautiful, beautiful boat! Oh, please. Don't be angry with me. I didn't mean to crush your boat. I'm sorry. Are you really sorry? Yes. Yes, I am. And you know what? I will help you continue on your adventure. Travel with me, Grover. I want you to meet a friend of mine. Big Bird and Snuffy had a balloon for Grover, but it wasn't quite ready to fly. If only they could fill it up with air, Grover could keep traveling. This is certainly a lovely balloon. But it needs some air. How about it, big guy? Help Snuffy blow up the balloon. Let's make some silly rhymes. Click one of the pictures in the sand. Okay, listen up. Stare, air, pear. Bear! Yes! Claire's hair stood in the air. In her chair was a bear. Hello there, Claire, said the bear. Nice hair! <laughs> Look, Snuffy is blowing up the balloon. Let's make another rhyme. Pick one of the pictures here in the sand. Here we go. Clock, lock, sock. Block. That's right. I've got a rock in my sock and a cuckoo in my clock. And Oscar the Grouch lives down the block. <laughs> the balloon is almost full. Make one more rhyme and Grover can keep traveling. Click one of the pictures in the sand. Whale, pale, male... Snail! What a rhyme! The whale and the quail pinned the tail on the snail. How, said the snail, I don't want that tail. <laughs> Yay! It worked! Oh, thank you! I am so happy! Oh, I love a good rhyme. Grover, have a good time. Oh, hey, a rhyme! <laughs> yeah! Up, up, and away! High 
in the sky, Grover flew in his balloon. He could fly in front of things or behind them. Hello there. I am so happy to be traveling again. This balloon can really fly. Oh, look, what a magnificent mountain. I can fly in front of the mountain or behind the mountain. You decide. Behind! I will fly behind the mountain. He could fly over things or under them. Oh, this balloon is so much fun. I am happy to be flying along. Hmm, now which way should I fly in my beautiful balloon? Under! Okay, I will travel under the cloud. He could fly near, or he could fly far. <sighs> balloon travel is so peaceful. You should really try it sometime. Now, should I fly near, or should I fly far? Far? Okay, I will fly far. This was the strangest island of all. It was a flying island where Elmo lived all by himself in the sky. He was waiting for a friend like Grover to drop by. there. I am Grover the Traveler. Hello. Uh, how are you today? To tell the truth, I feel sad. Sad because I want to go home. But now I am stuck up here. You know what? Elmo was sad to be stuck up here too. But now Elmo is happy because Grover is here to play with Elmo. I feel sad. Sometimes Elmo does too. I learned all about sad. Elmo be sad. Boo hoo! Boo hoo! Boo hoo! I learned about mad. Elmo be mad. Ah! Ah! Very good. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter you. who you are. One thing is always true. Inside every one are feelings, and I feel them just like you. And now I know afraid. Elmo be afraid. glad you came to visit at Elmo's house, but Elmo wishes that Elmo could visit you at your house, Grover.
Ah, little Elmo, that is a wonderful idea. All we have to do is become our super selves. Our super selves? Yes! You see, I am really Super Grover. And soon you shall be Super Elmo. Super Elmo. Up in the tree, the new friends played a game. Soon they would both be superheroes, able to fly wherever they wanted to go. Oh, Super Grover, show little Elmo how to become Super Elmo, please. Hmm. To be Super Elmo, you need a cape. Uh, oh, oh, we can make one out of the cloth in the tree. I got that from my super mind. Now, little Elmo, to make a cape, you need three special pieces of cloth. Ta-da! Look at my cape. I see four cookies. Now, look in the tree and find a piece of cloth that has the same number of cookies. That is right. That is the first piece of your cape, little Elmo. It is time to find the second piece. Da -da 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 -da! Look at my cape. I see five beach balls. Now, look in the tree and find a piece of cloth that has the same number of beach balls. Now, Super Grover? Almost. Only one more piece to go, and you will have your entire super cape. Listen very carefully. Voila! Look at my cape. I see six mushrooms. Now, look in the tree and find a piece of cloth that has the same number of mushrooms. <laughs> So proud of you. You have made yourself an entire soup for cape. Yay! Super Grover, now is Elmo Super Elmo? Just as soon as you have your super helmet. Wow! And you need a super yell. A super yell? Yes, try this. Wubba, wubba, wubba. Elmo will try. Wubba, wubba, wubba. That's it. You are now my partner in do-gooding across the universe. You are now Super Elmo! Elmo's ready to fly! Wubba, wubba, wubba! Now, let us fly together! Yes, fly together! Grover and Elmo finally got back to Grover's house. His mommy was so glad to see them. Grover was done traveling for a while, and he knew that he was happy. Mommy, I feel so happy to be home, happy like that cookie. Very good, Grover. Now tell me about your travels. Oh, oh gee, I, I do not know. I, oh, well, I am so embarrassed. Elmo will help. Elmo will ask a question, and you use the cookies to answer it. How did the Twiddlepusian governor feel when the Twiddlepusians acted silly? Click on the correct cookie. Happy! Aha! The Twiddlepusian governor felt so happy when everybody acted silly. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh, that's nice, dear. Why don't you have some cookies? Well, you have had some adventures today. Tell me about another one. How did Elmo feel when he was lonely? Sad. That is it. Elmo felt so sad when he was lonely on his island. Everybody feels that way sometimes. Oh, have some more cookies. What else happened, dear? How did most of the Twiddlepusians feel when they first saw Grover? I am so proud of all of you! Sad? That is not how the Twiddlepusians felt when they first saw me. <laughs> Elmo will ask the question again. How did most of the Twiddlepusians feel when they first saw Grover? Afraid? That is right. Most of the Twiddlepusians felt afraid when they first saw me. I am so proud of you. You really learned about feelings today. Now let's hear that song you sing. The feelings that I feel, oh, now I feel them. Uh -huh. I really feel the feelings that I feel. Oh, feeling all my feelings feels so good when I really feel the feelings that I feel. You have traveled home, singing your song. La 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 Love that traveling song. Now, who is going to eat all of these cookies? Pardon me. Uh, me just in neighborhood, and uh, we thought we could uh, eat cookies. Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye! Oh, you back? Oh, me hope you enjoyed story. Me no like to travel as much as Grover. Me like it right here in the comfy chair. Oh, yeah. Oh. If you want to read story again, Click there for just reading, or there to read and play. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this gameplay story. of uh, Grover's Travels. I know I did, and I know Cookie Monster really was happy with all those cookies at the end. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. Why not check out my playlist down below in the description box to see all the other Sesame Street games on this channel. I guarantee you'll find one you love. Remember, you are special and loved. You are never alone, and you're always welcome to come back and hang out anytime. Until the next video, God bless. I'll see you all later. Bye bye, my friends. Oh, you leaving now? Oh, this Alistair Cookie saying goodbye and thank you for playing Monsterpiece Theater CD ROM. Thank you, Twiddle Fusion. And thank you, Blue Giant. You have made me happy. Oh, I am so glad. Oh, now, could you please tell me how to get to a place where big people live? Hmm? Well, you see, yeah. listen up. Okay. You're going to have a chance to make it up.